Hey everyone, I'm Cassandra Thompson, your career consultant, and today we are talking about after graduation experiences. Essentially, I think there are three different things that everyone goes through after graduation. So I thought we'd talk about them because when I was in school, I actually had a professor who was like, hey, this is some stuff that's gonna hit you after graduation. And thank God she kind of told me because then when it happened, I knew I wasn't a crazy person, but this is just part of it. Okay, so first thing, I think you're going to experience shock and a little bit of fear mixed in with that. So what that is is the shock of, oh my gosh, that thing I've worked my whole life for is over. It's done. I, everything was leading up to this. Because truly, everything in your life is leading up to graduating college until you've graduated college. You were working in elementary school to get to junior high, from junior high to get to high school, high school to get to college, and then to graduate. But all those other things, the reason you're working to get to junior high is so you can get to high school to get to college. Like you always have that in mind. So that thing you've worked your whole life for is now over. It's gonna freak you out a little bit. And then there's the whole, oh my gosh, what's next part that's gonna freak you out even more. So having fear is normal. This is when I wanna remind you of what we talked about before. Take a breath. It's going to be okay. I think if you need to, say those words out loud. It's going to be okay. I don't have to figure it all out today. Those are two things. If you need a little mantra, just say those over and over. Another one that I think helps is something I said in the other video, which is I give myself permission, and this time I'd say to take time. I give myself permission to take some time. Uh, you do not have to have the rest of your fi life figured out tomorrow. Graduate. Figure out the next best step. Not everything. Next best step. That's it. But just know that when that shock hits you, when that bit of fear hits you, that's okay. Everyone feels it. It'll pass. The other thing I think that really hits people that they're not expecting is loneliness. Um, you've been in school with a ton of people. If you were somebody who lived on campus, even if you moved off your senior year, you probably lived with your roommate friends and you saw people at regular events or you had class with those people and it was easy to go to coffee after, or get drinks after, or go to dinner because you just saw them regularly. And in post-grad life, you have to be a lot more intentional about meeting up with people. So to combat that loneliness, start being intentional. Plan things with friends. I will say after college, spontaneity of hanging out doesn't quite happen in the same way. Now, sure, text people as soon as you're done with this video and say, hey, you wanna meet me for coffee in an hour? Go for it. Um, but just know, but you're still gonna have to make that effort. It's not as easy as like walking by somebody in the hall and saying coffee after class. Like it just doesn't happen in the same way. So. Be intentional to start making plans with people. If it helps, maybe you keep standing appointments. Um, maybe your best friend moved across the country. Make it a standing appointment that every Saturday morning you guys call each other or FaceTime while having coffee as if you were in the same place. Or do you join a running club that meets Friday nights or find a happy hour group so you keep networking at the same time. But start putting social activities in your life to take away from that loneliness and help you with the intentionality without having to plan each and every little thing each week. Does that make sense? So you're gonna have to be intentional with your old friends to find times to meet with them. So planning ahead, hey, let's all get drinks on Friday night. But also, if you just make certain group activities part of your schedule, you're not having to plan everything. So those two things I think will really help combat that loneliness that definitely can hit after graduation. Okay, and then I don't wanna leave on like a bummer. Let's talk about my favorite feeling after graduation. And that is one of appreciation and relief. So yes, you'll have the moments of shock and fear, but you will also have these moments of like, oh, I never have to write a paper again. Now that might not be true, you might go to grad school, but for the moment, if you think you're never going to grad school again, just, just appreciate that. I never have to write 
a paper again. I'm never going to be graded again. I never have to see ooh, that professor who was so mean to me again. These are good things, people. Take them in. Enjoy that. Even on my worst day at a job, I go, well, I'm not writing a 20-page research paper, so it's all good. Uh, appreciate what you've done. You have done hard work, and you don't have to do it anymore. You have to work hard in other ways, but not in that way. So anyway, those are three just little things that I think you need to know can happen after graduation, or if you're going through them right now and you're like, oh my gosh, am I crazy? You're not crazy. These are three things everyone experiences. So just know you're not alone. You'll get through it. Uh, and start working and enjoying this new part of your life, this post-grad world. Um, so with that, that is all for today's video. If you liked this one, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below with the feeling that kind of shocked you most after graduation, be it one of these three or something else. Um, and share this video with friends. And right now, you should be getting suggestions of other videos I think you'd like. So please keep watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.